Thanks for joining us. Democrats are standing behind Congressman Keith Ellison despite an allegation of domestic abuse from an ex-girlfriend. Today, the Minnesota DFL voted overwhelmingly to endorse Ellison for Minnesota Attorney General. Carol Evans, Sharon Yu was there. Of the nearly 400 votes counted, 70 people voted no endorsement and 326 people voted to endorse Keith Ellison for attorney general. In the end, Ellison ended up with the endorsement from the DFL, but the vote wasn't unanimous. Hundreds of DFLers filed into Cambridge Isani High School with perhaps Karen Monahan's interview with CBS News on their minds. I didn't choose for you to drag me off the bed, call me a tell me you hate me. I didn't choose that. That also on Keith Ellison's mind, too, as he addressed it before the vote was taken for his endorsement. Despite everything, I still care about her as a person. And I don't want anybody to say anything insulting to her at all. With the allegations looming, a delegate motioned for paper ballots. This has generated a lot of media attention, and I want delegates to be, feel free to vote their conscience. We moved to a uh, paper ballot um, to ensure accuracy in voting and also to um, give full um, opportunity for delegates who wanted to cast a, a vote in either way uh, to do so um, privately. His supporters putting faith in him 80 days before the midterm elections. Keith knows that uh, through this experience, you know, he has a responsibility to make sure that those voices are heard. and. Uh, I don't really have too many concerns personally about, you know, Keith going into this campaign. On the other side of the aisle, Ellison's Republican opponent Doug Wardlow's campaign denounced the DFL's decision to endorse Ellison, asking for the National Democrats to rebuke the DFL's endorsement. They also asked Senator Bernie Sanders to resent his endorsement of Ellison. The DFL made it clear in the meeting that if any new evidence surfaces for the allegations, that they reserve the right to resent their endorsement in the days leading up to November. In Cambridge, Sharon Yu, Carol Levin News. Now, with the endorsement from the DFL, Ellison will now have access to some of the party's resources leading up to the election.